Centre for Clinical Interventions, Psychotherapy Research Training. The information provided in this document is for information purposes only. Please refer to the full disclaimer and copyright statement available at www.cci.health.wa.gov.au before making use of such information. Module 5, Unhelpful Thinking Styles and the Contents Unhelpful Thinking Styles, Unhelpful Thinking Styles More Details and the Module Summary. When a person experiences an unhelpful emotion, for example anxiety or depression, it is usually preceded by a number of unhelpful self-statements and thoughts. Often there is a pattern to such thoughts and we call these unhelpful thinking styles. One of the things we've noticed is that people use unhelpful thinking styles as an automatic habit. It is something that happens out of our awareness. However, when a person consistently and constantly uses some of these styles of thinking, they can often cause themselves a great deal of emotional distress. We are now going to describe a range of unhelpful thinking styles. A summary of all styles are provided on this page, with the further details on each style provided on subsequent pages. It might be a little too much to read everything at once, so perhaps you might want to read through this page and then choose one or two to read in detail. Can you identify any thinking patterns and styles that you use often? Mental filter. This style involves a filtering in and filtering out process, sort of tunnel vision, focusing on only one part of a situation and ignoring the rest. Usually this means looking at the negative parts of a situation and forgetting the positive parts, and the whole picture is coloured by what may be a single negative detail. Jumping to conclusions. We jump to conclusions when we assume that we know what someone else is thinking, mind reading, and when we make predictions about what is going to happen in the future, predictive thinking, personalization. This involves blaming yourself for everything that goes wrong or could go wrong, even when you may only be partner responsible or not responsible at all. You might be taking 100% responsibility for the occurrence of external events. Catastrophizing. Catastrophizing occurs when we blow things out of proportion and we view the situation as terrible, awful, dreadful, horrible. And even though the reality is, uh, the problem might itself be quite small. Black and white thinking. This thinking style involves seeing only one extreme or the other. You're either wrong or right, good or bad, and so on. There are no in-betweens or shades of grey. Shoulding and musting. Sometimes by saying, I should, or I must, you can put unreasonable demands or pressure on yourself and others. Although these statements are not always unhelpful, for example, I should not get drunk and drive home, they can sometimes create unrealistic expectations. Overgeneralization. When we overgeneralize, we take one instance in the past or present and impose it on all current or future situations. If we say, you always, or everyone, or I never, then we are probably overgeneralizing. Labeling. We label ourselves and, and others when we make global statements based on behavior in specific situations. We might use this label even though there are many more examples that aren't consistent with that label. Emotional reasoning. This thinking style involves basing your view of situations or yourself on the way you are feeling. For example, the only evidence that something bad is going to happen is that you feel like something bad is going to happen. Magnification and minimization. In this thinking style, you magnify the positive attributes of other people and minimize your own positive attributes. It's as though you're explaining away your own positive characteristics or achievements 
as though they're not important. Note, some of these styles might sound similar to one another. They're not meant to be distinct categories, but to help you to see if there's a kind of pattern to your thoughts. Just choose a few that might be most relevant to you.